Hey guys, I just got back from the Dollar Tree and I found some really cool crafting finds that I wanted to show you. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. And today it takes care of all things Dollar Tree as well. I went shopping with my mom kid free, which was a gift in and of itself. And I picked up some really cool new crafting finds that I wanted to show you guys. And I wanted to show you this cool toy that the Easter Bunny happened to get for Aubrey as well. And I loved it so much that I had to go searching for another one in case I wanted to give it as a gift to someone else. So first and foremost, I had to pick up this lime green little cardboard, not cardboard, but like poster board, because I have been meaning to try the little technique of using this as a green screen. So I'm gonna try to do something here using it right now on this video so that you can see what I'm talking about. And maybe I can do some fun videos in the future using this as well. I've been looking through my crafting supplies and realizing I don't have too many of these, or at least I don't know where they are. So I picked up some more sponge brushes. I got some more metal tags because I realized I didn't have enough to actually just cover everyone in my family. So I did need more of those. These were new things. So permanent glitter paper, gold and silver vinyl and etching cream for glasses. And they have glasses at the Dollar Tree that I've used a different type of etching cream on. So I'm excited to see how this works, especially if you just want to take care of like one or two projects and not go full on like etching cream on everything. I'm also excited to see what types of crafts I can do with this, see how it cuts with my Cricut and just kind of, I don't know, make some fun glittery crafts. I picked up some paint brushes because we like to paint with water around here and I might wanna use this for my etching cream as well. So multi-purpose. And then I found these pens, which I thought were kind of cool. They're half pen, half highlighter. And I figured with my bullet journals, this would be the perfect thing to have. So I don't have to carry around like two different utensils or pens or whatever. I am going to be doing a like charcoal Dollar Tree video. And so anytime I find like a new little charcoal product, I try to pick it up so that I can show it to you guys. And then for Aubrey, we use these clips a lot and they happen to get misplaced a lot. So I just made sure to pick up a lot more. And then this is the fun little toy that the Easter Bunny got her and I was able to find this exact same thing at Dollar Tree, who knew? It's cool because it's not battery powered at all. You pull the trigger and the air shoots out, shooting a stream of bubbles. So you just dip this in the bubbles and then it shoots out a stream. And Aubrey really likes it and I just thought this would be a good gift for someone else just to have on hand. Speaking of gifts, <laughs> I got this for my brother the other day. We were talking about how much we loved like going to our grandparents' house and how they had these fun cups so I know that I've shown you guys I have some of these for myself but I picked up one for him and one for his soon-to-be baby girl I also picked up a little kid cup with the straw he was talking about these and then one for him and his wife and they have the bowls too where you just kind of drink the milk out and one for him and his baby girl obviously she won't be using them right away but I thought it would be a funny gift and you know, bring up cool memories. The Dollar Tree also had this really pretty water bottle and I thought, oh, I could do like silver or gold glitter, like using the vinyl, put my name on it or whatever, but it's just really pretty. Or I might even leave it in the car and have it for when I go out and I'm like, oh, I forgot my water at home. This will be the perfect thing to have. Then onto the foods. I splurged on these because I like these around Easter time and they're just so good. So I had to pick up two. I also wanted some circus peanuts. I bought some a while ago and they were colorful and they just didn't taste the same. So my dad and I were both a little disappointed in the flavor. So I had to get this. As you can see, we've already opened it. I also bought this. This is a gift for Juan because I don't know, he's been having a hard time falling asleep. So we're gonna give this a try. I'll try to remember to let you guys know how it goes. So instead of energy drinks, I'm getting him stuff now to fall asleep. It's, it's kind of the complete opposite. And then, like I said, I'm on this fix and I just picked up some more apple slices because it seems like Aubrey likes these as well, just the same as the strawberries. So figured I'd even them out. And then I did get two of these. I've already put my succulents in one of them and this will probably be for a future craft. And then whenever I see the little organizers for the fridge, I like to get them because I like having uniform stuff and this is just the perfect size for little snacks for Aubrey. And when we eventually move to our future home, 
I'd like to have like everything be uniform. But that's my quick little haul for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will let you know how my little crafting supplies go, if they're like worth buying or if you should just spend the extra money on Amazon and you know get like the real deal. But I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. And if you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content. And I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.